Hey everybody, this is Jim Griffith with Dakota Boat Retriever, and today I'm going to take you to a boat ramp that has no dock and show you how easy it is to launch your boat with the Dakota Boat Retriever. Before I ever go fishing or boating, uh, I always try to be prepared and, and double check things. So I've already got my boat hooked up and my trailer lights are hooked up, my safety chains, everything's ready to go. But something I always do since I'm so dependent on a trolling motor, I always check my prop nut, make sure my trolling motor's good. And when I come in from fishing, I always unplug my main power supply because that can cause a drain on your... Uh, batteries and so I plug in my trolling motor of course many of you don't have a crutch but I reach across the deck and hit my battery or my foot pedal just to make sure I've got power there and then I check my knobs on my trolling motor make sure everything's secure my fishing rods they're strapped down and they're secure I come back here and I check my tires they're up I check my buddy bearings and I see that it's kind of puffed out so I know it's it's got a good set of grease in it. I come back here and I check my uh, transom tie downs. They're good and snug. And then I check my motor toter. It's good and snug. And then I check my drain plug. I do all of this to when I get to the lake. You know, there's a thing called courtesy at the dock, but it's not really defined. Basically, it's hurry up and get out of the next guy's way. Uh, so to relieve some of that pressure, you want to make sure that everything is re ready to go, ready to launch when you get there, except for unstrapping your boat, and you're just prepared and ready to go. Now I have an onboard charger, <clears throat> so I simply unplug my charger, <clears throat> and then I've got a little maintainer. With my crank battery and I simply plug them up here and unplug everything and then I just do a quick walk around my boat check my prop the dock and the ramp is not the place to work on your motor or to see if you've got charged batteries or if it's going to start so just if you're in question about yours it's not going to hurt it to go up here and simply hit that key and you'll see if there's enough power to turn, turn it on. So say your boat's been in storage uh, through the winter or something, uh, maybe for a month or two in the summer, but uh, what I do, uh, if my boat's set for a couple of months, I simply take a water hose and hook to this and clamp it over the water intake and I'll pull my boat outside right here. I'll show you right here, you've got water intake holes, and so what you'll do is you'll just take a little clamp like this, you can get them at Walmart or wherever, and they clamp right over that housing, and the water comes out into these holes from your water line, and then the water pumps in here, and it just sucks it up to cool your motor. So you can sit there and let the thing idle uh, for an hour or two, but uh, I fully recommend that you Prep your motor and your boat before you ever get to the dock. Check my next tire, bearings, everything's good. Got my life jacket here under the dash. Got my kill switch chain. Got my sunglasses. I am ready to go except for the last most important thing to me is my Dakota. And I know I've got a flush mount here, a Scotty flush mount. And I know how I'm going to be launching and retrieving today. So I'm going to simply set my Dakota in his little notch. And then I'm going to turn him about a half a turn or a quarter turn, lock him in. And I'm going to take my Dakota handle, hook him right there. That way when I get to the dock and I'm ready to go, I can step across the trailer, 
grab my rope, tie it off, or whatever I'm going to do with it, and I'm ready to go. So if you're ready to go, let's go to the lake. Hey, we're down here at Melton Hill Lake at Stony Point. Uh, got a little ramp down here, no courtesy dock. Normally not a lot of traffic, but uh, I always want to make sure that I'm aware of uh, winds, currents, and to be courteous to the people down here. There's a lot of people who come down here and just swim or do various things, and it looks like there might be a few down here today. Uh, but that's the major thing you want to do when you're launching, is you just want to make yourself aware of any situation that you might get into uh, to make it easy on yourself and uh, easy on your boat launch. Okay, we've made it down here to Melton Hill Lake and as you can see there's no courtesy dock or anything around. I've got several options since I've got 80 feet of rope on the go, but I could tie it off to that post. Uh, several posts over here on my left side too that I can tie to. Uh, obviously the code would pull the boat up to the bank here, but probably under that the most tree. But today I'm just going to uh, do what I do in a lot of situations because I've got a kill guard on the bottom of my boat. Uh, there's no problem at all with me just having to code it to gently pull it up on the ramp. So there's nobody here today. Uh, it's uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, so I've got the ramp to myself right now, so there's no need for me being in a rush or a hurry. So uh, let's go ahead and do a launch. I'll go ahead and get the boat ready to unload. Normally I would do it up here in the parking lot, but like I said, there's nobody, nobody here pushing me to uh, hurry up and get the boat off. I'm going to unlatch my trailer, and I'm going to take Dakota, and I'm going to set his brake give me a little slack and I'm going to take it and hook it to my trailer winch make sure the ropes free of any encumbrances as it comes off then I'm going to go back here and undo my uh, trailer transom strap Now you'll notice I've got a west wind going to be coming in here on my starboard side. So I need to be aware of what kind of drift I'll have on my boat uh, when I launch. So obviously the boat's going to want to drift that way. But uh, I've got a plan to take care of that situation. Alright, I've already prepped the boat at home. I know I got good batteries, drain plug in, and I'm ready to launch. You can see I've launched and Dakota's bringing it in. I've just uh, unhooked Dakota's handle here. Got it in my hand. This is a good way to protect your boat too with that keel guard. But if you're concerned about your boat coming in too hard, 
uh, you know, you can be back here and just wait on it. And even though we've got a little wind, I'm just going to lift it up and anchor it right there. I'm going to park my truck and then I'm going to go in for a come back and uh, get in the boat and take off. That's about as easy as it gets launching without a courtesy dock. Thank you.